<laughs> Hi. So today we're going to read The Unwilling Twin by Freya Blackwood. This is a story of Jules and her identical twin, George. Jules and George are the same in every way. It's quite impossible to tell them apart. They even have matching birthmarks on their bottoms. Like all twins, Jules and George do everything together. After they get up in the morning, they do yoga. They put on matching jumpsuits and eat matching breakfasts. Then they play all day and have hours and hours and hours of fun. Sometimes in summer, Jules and George go to the beach. They pack matching swimmers, sunglasses and hats. It's hot to drive to the beach. An even hotter walk. George isn't always a willing twin. There's so much for twins to do at the beach. They collect shells, watch seagulls and go snorkeling. And jump waves. George doesn't like waves. George likes sand. He sniffs, snuffles and scratches until he's completely covered. Then he sleeps. He dreams he's lying in the warm mud, being gently massaged. Jules likes sandcastles. She shovels, shapes and smooths until it's completely splendid. She imagines she lives in the tallest turret. George would live there too, of course. But where is George? George! Ah, there's George. When George wakes up, he's ready to play. But Jules isn't always a willing twin. Like all twins, Jules and George occasionally disagree. Of course, they don't stay mad with each other for long. After a day at the beach, Jules and George always get matching ice cream. George, says Jules, there's only one thing that's different about us. Sometimes you're an absolute pig. <laughs>